My name is Bias. That is my traditional name. I am from the House of Guaslam, from the Wolf Tribe of Gitniao. Our traditional territory in Gitniao covers about 6,200 square kilometers between the Skeena River and the Nash River. Gitniao comprises of two clans, the Wolf Clan and the Frog Clan. With that, there are eight houses that occupy the traditional territory, four of which is the Wolf Tribe and four of which is the Frog Tribe. The reason why we hold such a big territory is because it is our food basket. Our food basket is what uh, brings in all our medicinal plants, our food, our shelter. And the reason why we have to look after this is because it means so much for the First Nations people here in Gitniao. It is our tradition, it is our culture, and we hold that firmly because this has been passed on to us from generation to generation for thousands and thousands of years. And we believe that this will be continued on. We're gonna to continue to pass on our traditional methods and values to the children that are gonna be coming after us. My name is Tara Marsden and my traditional name is Nahkink. I'm from Wilpgam Lachild. Our role at the Chief's Office is to really support and serve our eight Chiefs as well as the Huwilp, which is all of the Wilp members. And a lot of our conservation efforts are focused around the implementation of our land use plan. And that's my primary role here is the Gitniel Land Use Plan implementation. And uh, that plan took around 10 years to negotiate by the Chiefs and three court cases. So it means a lot and it uh, is a very good tool to manage for sustainability and for future generations. So monitoring is not new, but what we wanted to do was to establish a year-round program and to have full-time guardians that are available. It's a very important piece to have that on-the-ground presence and to have the feedback into my work, which is the assessment of different development activities and how it relates to the land use plan and how it relates to the values that we have in that plan. Hello, my name is James Morgan. I'm a Lachip guardian. Uh, that means I look after the territory. We're at the Meziadin Lake. This is very significant to our people because a lot of our fish comes from this watershed. The fish travel up from the ocean through the Nass water system. They get into this lake and then they disperse into different creeks that are contributors to this lake. We're here to look after two of those creeks that are in trouble. That's the Hannah and Tentina. Lots and lots of fish go into there and they spawn. It's getting harder and harder for them to survive because of environmental impacts and industry, and that's what we're here to help. I feel so lucky to be out here just because the elders know how important it is as well. They, they say it over and over again, we need more presence on the territory. We need to be out there. It is ours, let's take care of it. And just having the ability to, to do that is just great.
Every year there was a traditional chief and he would come to a river like the Kitwonga and they would set up their weirs, you know, made out of wood and uh, traps. And uh, his job, the traditional chief, was to be the, the person in charge of the fence and he'd have his wing chiefs that would man it and, and they would count fish through and it, it, he basically decided when it was time to go fishing and when he was satisfied there were enough fish above the fish fence to seed the spawning areas for future years. Uh, you know, a prime example of how they use, you know, their traditions to, to make sure that they're managing the resources. Not unlike today, you know, we have a fisheries program, we have chiefs that give us direction and we implement uh, their will to properly manage. And you know, obviously working with uh, federal fisheries and the provincial fisheries organizations to make sure we're working with all the other sectors that also rely on the salmon resource. My name is Kevin Cook. I work as a fish and wildlife biologist for the Gitanyao Hereditary Chiefs and the Gitanyao Fisheries Authority. Why I think programs such as you know our Gitanyao Fisheries Program and especially the Lakhip Guardians Program that's been really growing in the last six years are, are so important are, for one, from a social standpoint, it's helping to reconnect Gitanyao people with their territory in a way that's very meaningful to them. They're learning all kinds of, you know, different ways to monitor and protect their territories, which empowers them, helps them learn about potential effects on their territory, how to improve their territory, how to make it more productive, how to restore some of the productivity that's been lost over the last several decades. Because let's face it, a lot of our fish and wildlife stocks are down from historic numbers and they need to be rebuilt if we want to be able to you know, go out fishing in the future and catch fish or go out hunting and or just go out viewing wildlife and, you know, see a grizzly bear. From that perspective, our program is really important to, you know, people from all over the world. And they want to know that, you know, what's happening with climate change? Are we going to lose salmon with climate change? I think that having people on the ground collecting really high quality information consistently is how we're going to really detect change and hopefully stay ahead of it. My name is Greg Johnson. I come from the house of Mali, the Wolf Clan. My traditional name is Die Am Omk and the translation for that is uh, if you do not like them, do them no harm. I'm very proud to be a Gitsan and to be from Gitanyao and to do the line of work that I do and uh, the people that I work with. Um, I thank the chiefs. It's worth uh, doing the program because we're starting to see results. You have to stand on your laws. You have to stand on your culture and try to figure out ways on how to bring that into the modern day context. And I think that's what we've been very successful in doing here in Gitanyao is being able to try to combine the two and, uh, and find a way forward that works. I guess it's really called reconciliation, trying to reconcile two different peoples on how can we coexist together.